Okay, Savage. Alrighty, let's get into this one. We're going to start off with the Work Your Light Oracle card. Ooh, I like this. Dance with life. And it's a fire energy. Do you see the alchemical sign right there at the bottom with the triangle pointing up? Right. Zap! And the girl dancing, she's like, yes, flounce, flounce, flounce. Uh, dance with life. Do something to change your energy. You are a centaur. And you're supposed to run around going like, ooh, I'm a My Little Pony. So get back into that mode and start dancing in the moonlight. I like that. Okay, let's get to the tarot. Let's get into the tarot. That's my own. Jose accent. Jose. God damn. So many zodiac accents. Love you. Sag. My fellow fire sign. I'm a Leo. Ooh, that makes sense. We're in a two of swords, so we're in a stagnant, no dancing energy with a blindfold on, and the only time that is good is when you be a kinky motherfucker. I don't think you're doing that. Ooh, you got two of swords with the eight of swords in reverse. So somebody's been tied up, somebody's been bound, somebody has been blind. In both scenarios. We've taught ourselves that we're not trapped. We're not trapped. Some people think I'm trapped. I'm not trapped. I'm here because I'm strong. I'm an iceberg. I'm a rock. No, you're a scared statue. Because of this motherfucker. El Diablo. Been doing too much crank. Let's see. Yep, the hangman. Right on schedule. Showing you exactly what situation you're in, not that you didn't already know. But you're trying to stay in the hangman hangman for as long as you can. Cause you were scared to death to get back into the regular world. At the Nine of Cups. Woo. Queen of Cups. Page of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, the King of Cups. Brown liquor all in your cup. Mm. Yeah, about to put it in my book. Yeah. I think my book is me. Okay. Round go on your cup. Mm. Okay, let's see, Cher. Oh, that's nice. Um. You got Virgo, Scorpio, definitely a water sign. Could be an air sign. Pretty much anything but a fire sign. I'm guessing it's Pisces, Capricorn. No, it's Pisces or Capricorn. No, Pisces, Capricorn, or Gemini. So, Sag here with a Pisces, Capricorn, or Gemini. And let's see, Chia. The Queen of Cups. It could be male or female. It doesn't have to be necessarily one or the other. But the other. She's seeing how pleased you are with yourself. 
how much reflection you've been taking, how much devil was it? <laughs> I watched the demonology thing, so. It was good, by the way. You guys should check it out on YouTube. Demonology. It shows you, like, it, it's very insightful. It, it takes away the stigma of, trust me, if you're raised Catholic or any other shit like that. Okay. You're frozen in the middle with your happy little self. You have um, said you love you to death, but you have disassociated from your body. You have stomped the yard all over your body. Meaning disconnected analysis or You're not putting into motion, you're not learning as you go, you're not doing anything brave, you're just doing stuff from far, from a safe distance, you're not really learning anything, you don't plan to do anything like that. And I think you're seeing now that people are noticing and you can't, you can run, but you can't hide. Although you, you dance with your, dancing with myself, you need to start dancing with life and that means being brave and being more vulnerable, being more declarative, having more clarity. Standing up for your reputation because even though it's not a thing about ego or how you're looking or whatever, your reputation is important to your career and to your to your livelihood and to your prospects that might want to get a piece of that pie. I mean, someone is interested in you. Tell me what this Queen of Cups is doing. What a cancer. Oh no, Pisces are cancer. I always get the smoke in my eyes. Should be smoking anyways. Oh, wedding. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So that is at the uh, forefront of this. I mean, not forefront. I'm sorry. That's where you came from. You've been at a standstill. You've been at a heat because of difficulties of you opening up or you adjusting to a lifestyle that is okay for that. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And you would think this Nine of Cups, this wish fulfillment would go along with this right here. But what I'm seeing is that you're loving yourself, but in a su superficial way. You're not really letting your hair down. You're loving yourself in a hypothetical sense. <laughs> And it's okay for the meantime, but the reason why you won't get married with this person or you won't in, enter a union with this person. Is because you're, they're going to be able to tell that you're, you're not, you ain't coming correct. And it looks like they might have a child or a, a friend. That's going to be like, yep, mm, put you on blast because you don't seem that happy. So what is our final, what we got to say before Sandy? Our final piece of, good, <clears throat> of um, advice. Sorry, I've been doing this for like three hours right now. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> Pitch. Oof, my hair be looking. 
My hair be looking as crazy as your love laugh, Sag. I'm just kidding. Drum, dream, and journey. I can dream about it if I get noted now. And snake, shed the old skin. So, shed your old um, foreskin and drum, dream, and journey. And yes, I did say foreskin because I'm. It's saying take all the, the thinking out. You don't have to have no questions queued up. You don't have to have no answers queued up. You don't have to have any cool persona. Um, what you can have is a certain, a certain character about you that it's nothing you really say nothing you really do it's just the constancy of self-respect for the highest good for everybody around you and that includes you but when you try to skimp in and cut corners on certain things it all adds up and then you end up not respecting yourself and they're in turn not respecting the person that you're with or the, the household that you're with so we need to go back to the drawing board, reformulate how we do the fundamentals of everything. And focus on our intuition and our discernment and our wit. Like, <clears throat> there's a she-wolf in the closet. Let it up, so it can breathe. All right. Leo, 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 not Lewis. I'm a Leo dude. Okay, she wolf. Let your hair down, Sag. Leo is a two oh six three six. Okay. 